Hi, Mike Canal here with Orcas Island Leather Goods, and today I'm going to walk you through assembly and stitching of our luggage tag. Your contact information card slides in here, and the tag is attached by passing it through the slot in the loop. This is a fun and easy project that will look great traveling anywhere with you. Let's take a look at what comes in your kit. There are three pieces of leather. These two have the snap hardware pre-installed, two needles, plenty of thread, and two types of sandpaper plus wax canvas for edge finishing. Assembly is easy, and there are only two stitch lines to connect. These two pieces go together back to back like this, so that the good or face side of the leather is pointing out where you'll see it. You want the opening to view the card inside to open this way, so that when you add the handle like this, the snaps line up. Okay, let's get started. You should have already watched our how to hand stitch video and also make sure that from home you have on hand a pair of scissors and something to melt the thread ends like a lighter, thread burner, or even matches. We'll start our stitching with these two pieces. However, this edge here will be too difficult to finish after it's assembled. So if you'd like, you can lightly rub it with your sandpaper now, first the more coarse one, then the finer grain sandpaper then dab the edge with a little water and rub it with the wax canvas. You'll be able to repeat this process on the other edges after assembly. Now cut a length of thread about four times the length of the stitching line. It can be approximate. There's one, two, three, And four. Thread both of your needles, line up the leather pieces with the back sides together, and the stitching holes aligned. I'm going to clamp this into my stitching pony now so that it stays nice and steady for zooming in while filming, but I would typically just stitch this handheld, so rest assured you can complete this project without any additional equipment. Begin in the second stitching hole and even out your thread lengths. Saddle stitch back to the first hole. First needle goes in, hold the thread back and away. Second needle goes through and pull tight. This is a good time to check again to make sure your thread lengths are still nice and even and adjust as necessary. Now take just your top thread and do a loop stitch around the outside of the piece to reinforce the top. And now your needle should be back where they started. Now simply saddle stitch forward along the stitching line until you reach the other end. Your first forward stitch here will go right over the last one you just did. Remember to pull all your stitches nice and tight as you go. When you get all the way to the other side, again take just your top thread and do a loop stitch around the outside. Now back stitch two or even three stitches, and then an extra half stitch with just the top needle so both threads are now on the back side of the tag. Trim your thread ends to about an eighth of an inch and melt and press your thread ends. Now we are ready to add the strap. Align the stitching holes, and you can even snap it closed to hold it in place. Use a thread length of about 20 inches. I'll start in this corner. Saddle stitch all the way around until you have gone into your starting hole so there is no gap in the stitching. And then back stitch three and a half stitches to make sure this connection is nice and secure. Again, trim and melt your thread ends, and you're done. If you'd like, you can lightly sand your edges to make sure they are all nice and smooth, and dab them with water and rub the wax canvas along to add a shiny, waxy finish. This step is optional, though, and just depends on your preference. 
I hope you had a great time stitching this project and that it brings you years of travel enjoyment. As always, know that if you have any questions, we're here to help, so don't ever hesitate to reach out. Until next time, from our family to yours, happy making.